guys, welcome to today's video. We are here because Sigma came out with these little like mini palettes. They're minis of palettes that Sigma has already released and I went ahead and picked up the Cor de Rosa eyeshadow palette. I've heard such good things about the actual Cor de Rosa but I never went ahead and purchased. The only palette that I have from Sigma is the Ambiance palette. Oops, I just dropped the little plastic piece, but I decided, you know what, I hear such good things. This is a beautiful color story. It's what I'm into right now with the rosy tones, and it was $27. You could also use an influencer's code. I don't have a code, but if you have a favorite influencer out there, you could use their code to get this palette. So I thought that I would try it out for you today. I'm thinking I'm gonna do two looks. We'll have to see how much energy I have, but I was thinking I would use maybe like the first part of the palette and the second part of the palette to create more of like an everyday neutral look and then a little bit of a deeper look. So we'll see, but that is what we are here to do today. If you are new here, hello and welcome. My name is Kelly and I love all things makeup and beauty. I love talking, I love makeup, I love talking about makeup. So if you like to chat about makeup too, I would love to have you subscribe and be part of the K-Bella fam, but I'm gonna go ahead and zoom you in and we're gonna try playing with these eyeshadows. Okay, so now that I have you zoomed in, I did go ahead and prime with my Fenty Eye Primer, and I also set just from the crease up to the brow bone with my Modern Renaissance in the shade Tempura right here. That's like my favorite way to set my primer down. Now I think what I'm going to do, these are so, these are so beautiful, I don't even wanna dig in, but I'm gonna start with this one right here, which is in Cor de Rosa. And I'm going to take a fluffy BK201, tap it into the Cor de Rosa shade. I am getting a little bit of kickback. I don't mind that. And we're just going to put that in the crease. I do have to say, this shade is a little bit more pigmented than I was expecting, which is not a bad thing. But it looks so light when you see it here that I thought I was gonna have to build it up, but really I don't have to build it up too much. Not complaining. Okay, so then what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go in with my BK202. This one is the smaller handle because it's just the travel size, the first one that I grabbed. And we're gonna go into this brown shade right here in Medallion. And again, getting a little bit of kickback. And I'm just gonna kind of put this like in the outer part of my eye. I am kind of bringing it up into that crease and keeping it on the outer part of my eye as well. I just want to, my goal is to try and use all of these shades. I just won't use them all at once. So I'm just trying to get some brown incorporated in here. I feel like that first shade that I used, Cor de Rosa, was a little bit more on the pink side this is like a warm brown shade. So I personally wouldn't necessarily like think of putting these two together, but I think I'm gonna go in with this shimmer shade right here. So I think a warm brown will look nice. Then of course going in with my favorite lid brush, the BK203, and we're gonna go into this shade right here in Campfire. I'm going to put a little bit on my brush. I didn't get as much kickback with that one and I can see that my brush is very saturated. I'm going to spray it with Fix Plus and we will put that right on the lid. That's a really pretty shade. I like this shade because to me when I look at it, it looks more of like a rosy taupe, but it doesn't clash with the warm brown shade that I put in my crease. They actually look really nice together. Now I think you could have just done Cor de Rosa and this lid shade also. But like I said, I'm trying to, trying to get some use out of all these shades. Then I think what I'm gonna do just to see what it would look like is go in with Bell of the Ball on my finger and just tap it in the center here 
I don't know that it's really going to show up or make that much of a difference but it's a pretty shade and then I'm going to use it on my inner corner as well I am going to go in with my Sigma pencil brush and also that medallion shade do I want to do medallion? yeah we'll do medallion and I'm going to run that along my lower lash line once I have that done I'll go in with the inner corner and put some mascara on and I'll show you the finished look okay so before I zoom you out I just wanted to show you the finished look and let you know what else I have on my face I am trying out finally I picked this up during the Ulta 21 days of beauty sale and I haven't tried it yet so this is the hydromaniac tinted glow hydrator in the shade 30 light then on my face for bronzer and highlight, I reached into this Jouer Champagne and Macaroons set. The Sweet Cheeks, because this is in my like makeup that I'm trying to get some use out of, my neglected makeup. So I used Suntan and Citrine on the face. For blush, I did recently pick up this Kaleidos blush. Now it doesn't have the name, but I saved the box. This is the Mono Blush and Joyride from their Smoky Collection, I believe. It was the one that was most neutral. That's the blush that I have on. And then for lips, I do have my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude. And also from my neglected makeup is my Melt Cosmetics Lipstick. So I will go ahead and zoom you out and we'll wrap up the video. Okay, so I'm back. We are able to do a second look using the Sigma Corda Rosa palette. I just dropped this thing again. So I feel like I want to use these shades right here. I'm just not 100% sure how I want to do it. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with this lightest matte shade in Cor de Rosa again. I'm going to use the 201 from BK Beauty. And just like how we started yesterday for me, but first look for you, same video. I'm just going to put this kind of all over the crease, really sloppy not precise and just get the pigment where I want it to go. So then I'm going to go in with the BK Beauty Angie Hot and Flashy A502 and we're going to go in with Shakespeare right here and we're just going to kind of start. I wanted a fluffy brush because I want to start by putting it right here in the outer V but I wanted it to be fluffy so that I could blend it out. Normally I use a packing brush to put shades in the outer corner but this one's so pigmented that I wanted to be able to blend after I feel like this one's looking a little patchy but I know that deep shades like this can be a little bit tricky also I don't know if it's just my brush the way I'm applying it it looks pretty patchy to me I think what I'm going to try and do is I will go in with my BK207 and I'm going to try and pack this where it's a little bit patchy and then I'll go back in with that other brush to blend out because I just feel like, I feel like that's not really helping. I feel like there are spots on my eye where the pigment just isn't sticking. I don't know that that really helped. I feel like maybe it helped minimally but I still feel like it's a little bit patchy. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with the 207 on this side first, because maybe that's why it was patchy because I didn't pack it on first. And I'll try and get this in the outer V and then blend it out and see if that's any better. So I do still feel like it's a little patchy. I feel like packing it on first and then trying to blend it out was like a little bit more helpful but it still seems a little patchy to me. But we're gonna go ahead and move on. I'm going to go in with Dark Night, and again, my favorite 203. I'm gonna spray my brush, and my plan is to do like two thirds of my eye, the outer section, and that might help us cover some of the patchiness that I was getting. I will spray my brush with Fix Plus. You can see the product there. And I'm just gonna press it 
onto the outer part of my eye. My eyes are small, but I feel like we can cover up some of that patch. I just want to leave like the inner section open because I think we're going to put Belle of the Ball on the inner part of my eye. But this shade is beautiful. You can see it's nice and pigmented, nice and shimmery, helping me cover up the patch city that I had going on over there. So same brush. No, maybe I need something a little smaller. Okay, don't know that I've used this brush before. It's an LBE7 from Lunar Beauty, and it's tiny, and I have like a small area to work with here. And I wanna go in with Belle of the Ball, the lightest shade, and I'm gonna spray my brush. You can see it there. I just wanna press this on the inner part of the eye because I want some shimmer there but I don't want it too deep. I feel like that'll kind of give it give it a little bit of an ombre look but I have such tiny <laughs> tiny eyes and like little lid space that I need a tiny little brush like this. So I said I don't think I've used this brush from Lunar Beauty before but actually this is really great for this inner corner section because it's nice and tiny but it's picking up the pigment well. I just felt a little bit of fallout on my face. So I would, if you have small eyes and you have like this tiny little space to work with, I would recommend this. So then what I'm gonna do is, because I wanna incorporate this brown right here in Bare Root, I'm gonna take that in my BK204 and I'm just going to focus that on the outer part of my eye and then I'll use the Corda Rosa to blend it out. So then just using my Sigma pencil brush in that light Corda Rosa shade, I'm just going to go right underneath and that'll kind of bring some of the rosy vibes back in, but without using that Shakespeare shade, I feel like. I feel like that Shakespeare shade could get a little a little iffy under the eyes with that like maroon undertone could make you look a little sick so this we kind of go with like brown toned vibes and blending it out with the Corda Rosa ties it all together doing the same thing I did on my inner corner bell of the ball tapping a little bit on the inner corner here but for me because I'm so fair this is not like a light enough shade for me so I am gonna go in with my modern Renaissance and the shade Vermeer and Vermeer has like a pink undertone too I'm just kind of tapping that on top to kind of lighten up that inner corner I love a light a light bright inner corner okay so here is what we are looking like don't mind my little my little baby hairs they're just all over the place. I'm gonna do some mascara, pick a lip, and I'll be right back to show you the finished look. Okay, so here is look number two. All of my other makeup details, they'll be listed down below, but they're all the same with the exception of my lips. So I still did go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Iconic Nude, but then I also went in with my Pat McGrath Bridgerton Lipstick in Nude Romantique 2. This is more of a satin finish. I thought about putting a little gloss on top, but with the satin, I don't really feel like it's necessary. So this right here is the finished look. Now I do just wanna add, because when I go into my first impression in a moment, it was before I created this look. So I do just wanna mention that this shade right here in Shakespeare was the only shade that I really had an issue with. It was kind of patchy on me. I tried packing it, I tried blending it, and it still was just a little bit patchy, but all of the other shades, I didn't have any issues with patchiness or blendability or anything like that. I just kind of had some fallout. But, you know, depending on the person, that may not be an issue. But let's go ahead and wrap up the video. Okay, so my plan is to film two looks using this palette, but in case I run out of energy, because I am almost nine months pregnant, or if I just don't have the time, I just get one look, 
I'm gonna go ahead and wrap it up and share my first impression after using some of these shades with you. Now I do wanna say the only other palette that I have is the Sigma Ambiance palette. I do like it, it's not a love. I think the formula is good, but it's not my favorite. With this one, I don't really feel confident comparing the two formulas, but I do feel like some things that I noticed. With these two matte shades, I did get a little bit of kick up. That doesn't bother me, but they were also super pigmented. So if you're someone that's heavy handed, you might wanna go in like with a little bit of a lighter touch or a fluffier brush, because I did get some really good pigment with these two. I noticed that I didn't get as much kick up with this shimmer shade. It was beautiful on the eyes. I feel like it really pops. It was a gorgeous shade. I also really liked Belle of the Ball. Now I did put Belle of the Ball on my inner corner, but it was a little bit deeper than I wanted it to be. So I did go in with my Modern Renaissance in Vermeer just to put on top of it, but I thought these shimmer shades were great. So these four shades right here, I felt like were really good quality. I really enjoyed them. I like the look that I created. I mean, this is like what I'm into. Like these are my tones. So I'm hoping either tomorrow or later on in the week, I can play with these three shades. And then when I post this video, I do have two looks to share with you. And as I'm putting those on, I can share any other thoughts. But I mean, for 27 bucks and I used an influencer's code, I feel like this was worth it. I like that I get to try more from the brand. I like that I get to try the Corda Rosa without spending the 40 or $50 that it is for a full size. I'm kind of into more of like the smaller palettes, like minimalistic looks. You know, I have a toddler, baby number two is on the way, I'm a teacher, I'm wearing my teacher life shirt right now, but it's like, I just, I kinda gotta get ready and go. Like I don't have a ton of time, and so eyeshadow palettes like this are great for me. So first impression, I liked it. I'm definitely going to play with it some more. I'm really happy that it's in my collection, and I was happy that I only had to pay $27. So if you picked up any of these little palettes, let us know down below, which one did you get? What are your thoughts? Other than that, I just wanna thank you guys again for watching this video. Make sure you are subscribed before you go, that way I can see you in the next one. Thanks for watching. Bye.